Hey guys, look what I got. It's big. It's real big. Uh, 15 cubic feet. Thin wall freezer, whatever that means. I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'll leave it open. She had cleaned it out. There's some uh, water dripping in it. This was used for deer meat. And that's what it's going to be used for again. So, 15 cubic foot freezer. Uh, figure it uses about 500 watts. I was looking at the readings. And it could probably use some new seals. But other than that, it's a pretty good freezer it looks like. And we are going to keep this in the garage. For our chickens, fish, and deer. That'll hold quite a bit of uh, meat for us there. And any uh, extra food from our, our garden. So there we have it. Neighbor helped me pull this over here. Got my uh, trailer over here by the wood. The um, wood is still wet and although I've had it tarped, unfortunately, the moisture can't get out and it rains here unpredictably. So uh, sometimes I remember to untarp it and sometimes I don't. And sometimes I untarp it and it rains. So I'm going to put all this up in here on pallets and let it dry out. And then I'm going to start working at from, I'm going to start using it out of here as needed to finish my chicken coop. But it's going to have to dry for a while because it just hasn't had an opportunity to dry out. Oh, there's ant nests and eggs in here, which is not good. I'm going to have to tap that out. Look at the ants have been, oh boy. Oh, ants are a bad pest too. They've been eating it up. Look what they did. Making nests. And I just put this in here not long ago. Look what they do. Hasn't even been all that long since I put all this wood up in here. Looks like that could be termite action too. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to find out what did that and get rid of them. But anyway, yeah. Nature is rough on your stuff. So, coming together. I said it, I wanted to say my neighbor helped me pull this over here. Because my truck isn't running. But, I think I'm going to cut a hole in the bed of the truck to access the fuel pump. And the wiring and um, get that thing running soon.
bear it out. Now sadly, some of this stuff is slimy black and that was at the bottom of the trailer. No matter how hard I tried to dry it and keep it dry, being outside it was just impossible. Um, all the wet, wet wood was at the bottom and uh, same when it, with it having been on the pallets earlier. So now it'll air out, it'll be able to dry out, and then I can finish my chicken coop. And that, um, especially the long project, who is really uh, critical of my decisions and why I don't finish my projects. Um, this is why I haven't finished the chicken coop. It's disgusting black wet, okay? This is why I haven't finished the chicken coop. I have my reasons for what I do. You're just not here, and this is speaking to everybody in general, to know what my reasons are. And I try to explain, but you guys don't always watch every minute of every video, so a lot of you miss my explanations and then get upset that I don't finish a project. Soon, let this wood dry out and I'll finish that chicken coop. I'm not lazy. I'm not wasting time. I'm not sitting around doing nothing. I just couldn't. This stuff is disgusting. And you don't want to put that on a building. you got to wait for it to dry out. And that's what I'm going to do now, finally. And this might look like a lot of wood, but that was just a trailer load. Um, just one trailer load and half a pickup load of, of wood. That's Now I've got pallet here, pallet here, pallet here, pallet, pallet, you know. So but that gives a lot of airflow. And that's going to help. So you can now see straight through here. And that's going to help this wood dry out. Which is what I really need now. So today's Wednesday and that's pretty much it for the day. We um, spent a lot of time with, dealing with that freezer. Which by the way I have to get inside tonight yet. So I have to do some cleaning on it and get it in the garage. Um, time is flying on me. So I'm going to go take care of that before... I guess it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and that's another reason I pushed myself to get this done today. Now here, I think you guys saw me put that wood in a trailer. I talked about it when I did, and the critters don't waste any time. I don't know where they got the paper. That's a FedEx mailing envelope. I have no idea how they got that in there or where it came from. But um, here's an example. The uh, rodents don't waste any time making a nest in something. This was maybe all of two weeks sitting here. Now I can let this trailer dry out too. And I'll sweep out all this gunk. And that'll reduce rot on the trailer too.